So throughout my life, I've been fortunate to experience a series of very, very interesting events. And yet this one, I think, still stands out as my favorite and the most interesting one I've ever had happen to me. Just because of how weird it played out and what was happening during it so yeah i thought this would be kind of interesting to make a little story time video while having some dungeons gameplay in the background i don't know if you guys like this type of content then tell me but i have some cool stories to tell so if you guys enjoy stories then i definitely can supply some <laughs> okay so there's a few things that i need to mention before this story is told and as most of you know i live in california and California is known for having a lot of earthquakes, right? So I'm guessing most of you have probably experienced at least a tinier earthquake. And it's nothing to make a big deal out of usually. It's just kind of like, oh, the ground is shaking. You know, it's not, not that big of a deal. It's just kind of like Willy Wonka world for a second. You get to surf on the ground, you know, that type of stuff. But no, 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 no. I was blessed with something way bigger than just a normal earthquake. And this all happened about four years ago when I was like 13. Okay, so at my old house that I used to live at, it was me, my mom, and her husband, which was my stepdad, and then I have two brothers as well. So this is some key information that you guys need to know. And during this, this was the first like big earthquake events I've ever experienced. And I didn't really know what to think of it as I was pretty young. And you know, shaking the ground pretty hard is, it, it'll scare you. It's not the scariest thing. It's just kind of like, dude, is my house going to fall over? You know, you, you get a little concerned, right? So as anyone would, when the first earthquake had hit, it was kind of like a little spook. And the funniest part was I was actually in the shower when the first one happened too. So that was even more spook. And so I kind of was a little bit scared after that. But you know, for the next day or two, there wasn't that many more earthquakes. So I figured we were fine. And then no, 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 out of nowhere, they started happening in the night again, right? So during the nighttime, there was some earthquakes. And I remember literally being out on the couch during this time because I could not sleep. So what I had done was I moved my whole PC setup into the kitchen just so that I could be closer to the doors if I needed to get out of the house. And during this time, I thought it would be the best idea to go and play Skywars and Skyblock during the earthquakes just to, uh, you know, kind of ease my mind, right? So days go by, you know, there's just like little earthquakes here and there. It's not anything too big. There's a few big ones that kind of scare us, but you know, we're living like normal and everything. And then boom, there is a 7.0 earthquake while I am playing Hypixel Skyblock. And I remember I was in a game of Skywars because I had gotten off Skyblock to play one game of Skywars and it was a ranked Skywars game. And I was getting my butt handed to me by the dude I was dueling. And then out of nowhere, I feel my whole house shaking. I'm thinking that this other guy I was dueling just sent a missile attack on my house or something. So as a 13 year old, my first instinct was to get with my other family. It was around the house and gather everyone together and figure out what to do from there. Right. And so this is all happening and my mom does not have shoes on or anything. So we were told to go outside. So what I had done was my parents were running and my little brother was kind of left behind. So what I did was I picked up my little like four three-year-old brother at the time and i am a 13 year old running across the street during a 7.0 earthquake with a three to four year old child in my hands and finally we made it to the dirt and it had stopped and after that that was pretty much the end of this but as many of you that lived in california i'm sure there was some that actually lived in the town that this occurred in which is actually where i live it was directly in the town that it occurred in it wasn't a super scary event it was just kind of like whoa like, obviously, there is way worse earthquakes out there, like the ones that just happened recently. So I should not be complaining about any of this. But it was just a really funny story because, you know, the grind never stops. Earthquakes happen. You got to find a way to grind skyblocks. So now one thing that I'm looking back on while I tell this story is that the dirt lot across my house that I had ran to also had like two very tall light poles right next to it. And if those had fallen over, that would have definitely at least knocked me out or killed me. And I guess that was not the best idea to be running into the dirt. But, you know, I, I was not really sure of what to do. And <laughs> I was kind of just running for my life because I wanted to get away from the house. And I I'd, like, what was I running from? I'm trying to think about it now. I genuinely don't even know what the point of that was. I'm pretty sure that you're supposed to stay inside during an earthquake and go under like 
doors or something like that. You know, I don't even know. And I probably should know this knowing that that's happened out here a few times now. But, you know, I I just kind of figured that if something is going to take my life, then it's just going to take my life. And it was just a skill issue, really. So I can thank Skyblock for teaching me that. Dungeons has definitely taught me more life lessons than anything else in real life so far. So, you know, I remember coming back in after and I was more so mad that I lost the rank game because I had to run out of the house for an earthquake than actually being in the earthquake. And as a, a 13 year old gamer, you know, kind of take out the rage. So I get back in and I start playing Sky Wars again, of course, because what else is there to do but play Minecraft in this world? And my dedication to grinding it was immeasurable, even as a 13 year old. And that definitely comes from my upbringing of playing Minecraft on a Mac since I was like 11 years old. But you know, that is definitely beside the point. But yeah, I remember for days to come after that one, it was pretty scary. I literally couldn't sleep. So what I had just done was grind more rank sky wars and play Skyblock. And honestly, I do have to say that it, it did pretty much distract me from this. So it, it was a pretty good distraction and it, it kept me entertained because I literally could not sleep. I remember in the mornings, I would genuinely just go sit outside and drink coffee because I did not want to be inside. And it was just it was really scary because it was like, what if there's another big one? But, you know, I I had to keep my dedication to Skyblock. And I did, even through an earthquake. And I am thoroughly convinced that even if that was a nuclear bombing instead of an earthquake, I still would have been playing Hypixel Skyblock. There is nothing that will ever take me off of this game. Nothing. I was so addicted as a 13-year-old. I would not even go outside. I would literally play Hypixel Skyblock through an earthquake and go and do anything else. And it had literally gotten to a point where I would turn down hanging out with girls just so I could stay home and play Minecraft instead because I genuinely had more fun playing Minecraft than I did going out and doing social activities. And I guess nothing's really changed if I think about it, except I'm just banned now instead. But, you know, we're still, we're still winning. We're still out here winning. I have a girlfriend now, so I guess that has changed. But yeah, that was a little short story about playing Hypixel through in 7.0 Earthquake. And that was one of the memories that I'll definitely keep with me for the rest of my life because it was super interesting while being very scary at the same time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. And if you did, let me know. I definitely have more to tell. Like my grandma and me hacking on Pokemon Go when I was like 12. So I could talk about that in another video. I feel like that would be pretty funny. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.